What's up, Pisces? This is Jesse with 44 Astro with a general new moon tarot reading for the new moon coming up on January 11th. 111. Um, that's an activation number, 111. In binary, ones are activated on, zeros are off. So this is 111, this is on. Um, it also represents the Holy Trinity. We're talking about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Shiva, Vishnu, Brahma. Whoop. Even though I will always tell you that I believe that the, it should be a quaternary because in the occult, the quaternary is the Trinity in expression, like in expression, like being experienced physically, which has to happen. So as far as we know, it does because we do live and experience life. So it's a quaternary. And plus, you also want to have the feminine mother influence in there as well because it's left out of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Even though in the Vedic uh, expression of the deities, there's different, um, not only avatars, but expressions of like Vishnu, Brahma, and Shiva, and some of them are actually feminine. So at least they somewhat take it into account. Um, this was the card. Um, with that being said, the new moon is in Capricorn, 20 degrees Capricorn. It will be at 6.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it is in the 23rd mansion of the moon. This is all about liberation and freedom, this mansion of the moon. Um, the moon is going to be in an exact conjunction, which means zero degrees difference, like it's right on each other. Zero orb, which means no degrees in between it, between the sun and the moon. And it will be trying Uranus. So this is a uh, change. This is because it's in Capricorn, though the sun and the moon, it's probably practical and planned change. This needs to be uh, done because Uranus represents the future, change, revolution, these types of things. Um, Pisces ascendant, your 10th or 11th house. So you may decide you're doing a transformation or change in the, in the way you make money or your work. And then 11th house is your role in society. So your service, what you want to give to society in the overall picture or your role in your larger social group. So you may be uh, wanting to liberate yourself from it or free yourself from it, or there may be some kind of guided change, practical change is needed to, to take place. There's also a minor grand trine between Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. So that's going to support that growth. And it's a, it's a good uh, good good aspects to help support that. So overall, this is really good for change, liberation, freedom. If you're planning, if you have any plans on that type of thing, um, this says you're very close to achieving your goal, Pisces. So whatever your goal is, here it is, very close to achieving it. And I mean, the astrology is not bad. Um, I wouldn't start a new relationship on. Uh, on the 11th, I'd wait for the moon to move out of that mansion before uh, I would look for a friendly mansion for the moon um, if you want to start a relationship. But uh, I don't think that necessarily has to do with what your goals are. It may be. Uh, but we're going to see. See what the cards say, if it supports any of that. Um, I wanted to do yearly readings, but I just don't have the time. Um, I'll probably make a video on the astrology, like the major astrology coming up this year. Specifically, I'm going to focus on Pluto entering into Aquarius. Last time, oh, it takes... Pluto, 248 years to get around the sun. Last time he was in Aquarius was um, during the 1700s. And what happened during the 1700s? The American Revolution. You got this planet of power going into the sign of revolution. And look what's happening in the world right now with this Russia-Ukraine crisis, China and uh, the U.S. I mean, people are ma they're making alliances all over the place. It's power structures are about to get flipped. Let's just hope it's... Uh, a good transition and not a violent one. So that's all we can hope for. All right. You're very close to achieving your goal. Truth, justice, victory. Right there. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Ooh. It's the end of something, though. So that's good. It's the very end of it there. But whatever the ending is, is probably very necessary. This is a this is a Venus card right here. This is the Empress. Very beautiful, sweet, uh, artistic type energy. New project even. Um, and this could also be like, hey, it says you're very close to achieving your goal. You're done pursuing it. Because everything else is freaking super positive. Like whatever the struggle was is going to end like whatever you were to pursuing this goal. I mean, your goal could be to be famous because right there you got the sun. It could also be to have a child because there is a child in that. But... Um, especially since this card is crossing it and it's got children in it as well. But this is about the giving and taking in, a rela uh, in all your relationships, really, or giving and taking, period. Generosity, specifically. Well, there's a lot of giving in it, more than taking. And Pisces is all about service and giving anyway, so it's kind of right up your alley. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe you're trying to be solar, right? And that's what we're trying to do anyway. You're trying to be the sun. You're trying to give. Give of yourself. 
Like you want to be of service. That's that's natural for a Pisces to want to be of service to humanity. It really is. It's what the sign Virgo and Pisces. That whole axis represents a lot of that service, um, sacrifice too, but service. And like behind you, it's like this is pa- you, whatever the competition was or the rat race was is behind you. Whatever you had to get over to get to the point where you could start serving and giving in some way, whatever that may be. Whether it could be knowledge that you're giving, you could be becoming a teacher or something like that. Um, but offering service could be you're offering advice. It could be like a counselor, a therapist, something like that. Um, in your conscious mind, you're passionate about it. Whatever it is, you're very, very passionate about it. Um, this is this is strong, uh, forward-moving, new beginning energy. But it it could it could be sexual as well. But I don't really see anything that represents a relationship, except maybe this. But it looks like it's just something like a goal. I mean, our, all of our goals is to become solar. We're trying to learn whatever it is that this mechanism has. Whatever this was programmed to do best, you learn it. The better that you learn it, and the more complete, the most genuine and complete version of yourself, when you become that, then you can become solar and you can give it out to others and help them. Help them grow because you grew. That's kind of what we're here to do. It can be very complex how that happens, it can be very simple how that happens. It just depends on the individual. You know, we all have different karmas and destinies, right? This is. This is an unconscious influence. So it's like a celebratory unconscious influence around you. So there's going to be like mirth and jolly all around you, which is good. So that kind of energy is going to be around you, supporting you unconsciously, but it's there, which is good. You know, and you got that victory right in front of you, a new beginning. You know, this is you right now. <laughs> you won. Well, I don't know what this is, but you won. You've, you completed the goal. You won. It's good. You won. Like in your environment, maybe you just got a new car. <laughs> but it looks like you're moving forward. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe this was what you were trying to accomplish was travel or moving in some way. Getting a new home. Don't really see the new any new home card here necessarily, but it doesn't mean that that's, you know, it's most likely that you maybe you wanted to travel, see the world, that type of thing, and maybe you're getting to do that. Advice helping or hindering you, the money aspect. Right? Maybe you saved your money. You did well. You've been holding on to that money so that you can do this. You planned it out. You saved it. Now you're going to do it. It's coming to fruition. No more of the grind. All that's done. It's finally done. And you can do exactly what it is that you wanted to do. Whatever your goal was, you no longer are pursuing the goal. It ends. I mean, all the other cards are positive. So that's the only way I can really read this. I mean, it's positive victory, victory. I mean, two victory cards, you know. You could say, well, you're being a miser here. Or you're, this is hurting you, holding on to your money too much. But it looks like saving money is what got you to where you could do what you wanted to do type of thing. Or it gave you the freedom to be able to, like, serve. Do something that you wanted to do instead of what you felt like you had to do. Which is awesome. And it looks like you're supported whatever this new... I mean, with this, this this goal that you're trying to create, you know, you created it, which is good. Yeah, looks all good for you, Pisces. I mean, could be asking about fame, that type of thing. But I don't think it's about that. I think it's more about you just being able to be solar and give what you have within you outward, which is good. And you're wanting to move forward, or you're just trying to move forward past something and you are if that's your goal moving forward because this is moving forward victoriously this is moving forward victoriously this is you and then this is your environment this could be actual travel maybe you got a new car as well but either way it looks like you're probably traveling maybe you're traveling around to serve in some way you're able to travel and then like give advice go to place to place maybe you got the opportunity now like to give it travel around and, and teach people like at conferences and things like that i do that sometimes um one of these days, I'll get into like my, why I do that, but no reason as to as of it, of it now. If I get enough followers and all that stuff, I'll explain why I'm able to do that and why I do it. And my, it's service. One of the reasons I do. Yeah, and then like, no more rat race. That ends. That's good, Pisces. Heck yeah. All right. That being said, Pisces, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. It does help push the videos forward so they get more views. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it would help me out, and I'd be grateful. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I'm just glad that you're here. Glad that you watched the video. That's enough for me. With that being said, I wish you the best, Pisces, and I hope you have a happy new year.
Thank you for being here.